Introduction to Resource-Based Theory Resource-based theory is a management concept that explains how firms can gain competitive advantage by utilizing their internal resources and capabilities. It suggests that a firm's resources, including tangible and intangible assets, are the key determinants of its success in the market. The theory argues that firms with valuable, rare, inimitable, and non-substitutable resources are better positioned to achieve sustained competitive advantage. This means that firms must identify, develop, and leverage their unique resources to create value for customers and outperform rivals. Key Components of Resource-Based Theory There are four key components of resource-based theory, value, rarity, inimitability, and non-substitutability. These components determine whether a firm's resources can be a source of competitive advantage or not. Value refers to the extent to which a firm's resources can create value for customers. Rarity refers to the uniqueness of a firm's resources, which makes them difficult to imitate. Inimitability refers to the difficulty of replicating a firm's resources, while non-substitutability refers to the lack of alternative resources that can replace a firm's resources. Applications of Resource-Based Theory Resource-based theory has been applied in various fields, including strategic management, entrepreneurship, and innovation. In strategic management, it helps firms to identify their strengths and weaknesses and develop strategies that leverage their resources to achieve a competitive advantage. In entrepreneurship, resource-based theory helps entrepreneurs to identify opportunities that leverage their unique resources and capabilities. In innovation, it helps firms to develop new products and services that are based on their unique resources and capabilities. Critiques of Resource-Based Theory While resource-based theory has gained widespread acceptance, it has also faced some critiques. One critique is that the theory does not provide guidance on how to identify and develop resources that can lead to sustained competitive advantage. Another critique is that the theory assumes that resources are static and do not change over time, which is not always the case. Finally, the theory does not explain how firms can manage their resources effectively to achieve sustained competitive advantage. Examples of resource-based theory in practice Many successful companies have implemented resource-based theory to achieve competitive advantage. For example, Apple's design capabilities and brand reputation are valuable, rare, inimitable, and non-substitutable resources that have helped the company to dominate the smartphone market. Similarly, Amazon's logistics capabilities and customer data are valuable, rare, inimitable, and non-substitutable resources that have enabled the company to become the world's largest online retailer. Conclusion Resource-based theory is a powerful concept that helps firms to identify and leverage their unique resources to achieve sustained competitive advantage. By focusing on the value, rarity, inimitability, and non-substitutability of their resources, firms can develop strategies that outperform rivals and create value for customers. While the theory has faced some critiques, its applications in various fields and examples of successful companies that have implemented it demonstrate its effectiveness in practice.